have two big kids in primary school. How do their days look like? What do they do after school? How do I engage them at home? Let me bring you through a day in the life of my two primary school children and I will answer all of these questions in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Finn. I am a former math and science teacher, mother of three who loves staying at home with my children because there is just so many fun things to do with them at home. Now my channel is all about sharing my best ideas, tips and resources to help you create the best home for your children to learn, play and grow. So if you are a parent, subscribe to my channel and keep on watching this video. My children's day starts early in the morning. Zachary and Riley wake up between 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. And yes, I am still in bed. They find their own quiet activities to do during this time. At 6.50 a.m., I am out of bed to make breakfast for Zachary and Riley. They have their breakfast, then they get ready for school. We are out of the house by 7.25 a.m. From morning to 1.30 p.m., Zachary and Riley will be in school. After school, I pick them up and we head straight to the neighborhood park. Each day, I intentionally block off at least 30 minutes to an hour for my children to hang out at the park. After spending the whole morning sitting down and doing structured activities in school, it is so important that children get some unstructured time to play and move. This may sound counterintuitive, but research has shown that regular movement increases concentration and improves memory in children. After this outdoor movement time, my children were less distracted and were able to calm down and focus on their schoolwork or learning later in the day. Another interesting fact, researchers found that these positive effects lasted 2-4 to four hours after their movement time. At 2.30pm, we say goodbye to our friends at the park and head back home. My children shower and freshen up, then they unpack their bags. They take out their lunch boxes and water bottles, replenish their pocket money and take any homework out of their bags. Then Zachary and Riley chill and relax till around 4pm. Usually, they go straight to use their screen time. They get about 45 minutes of screen time daily and they can use this 45 minutes on any approved devices and approved programs like using Switch to play video games or watch Netflix cartoons on the TV. At 4pm, I gather my children for our home learning time. This is definitely my favourite part of the day to spend quality time with my children. Now, what do we do during this home learning time? Zachary and Riley will do homework from school or learn their spelling. And after they are done, for the rest of the time, we will do some fun activities together like reading a book, make art and do fun learning activities. Today, I have prepared a very fun printable activity for my big kids to learn about 3D shapes and 3 famous buildings in the world. You can grab these famous buildings printables over at HP Printable website. The link is in the description below. During our home learning time, we go through so many printable activities. So one of my worst nightmares is to find out that my printer is out of ink when I need to print a printable. But lucky for me, that has never happened before since I signed up for this HP Instant Ink subscription service. Now what is this ink subscription service all about? You can think of it as getting ink on demand. So whenever my printer is low on ink, it will send a notification to HP to arrange for ink cartridges to be delivered to my home. So this is super convenient because now I can get ink whenever I need them. Now HP is offering a 3 months free trial of their Instant Ink subscription service if you own or purchase any of their Instant Ink printers. Definitely check out this amazing offer and sign up for this ink subscription service in the link below. In this activity, your children are going to construct 3 basic 3D shapes, a pyramid, a cylinder and cuboids. What is cool about this activity is that these shapes are designed to look like miniature versions of three famous buildings in the world. The pyramid is the Museum of Louvre in France. The cylinder is the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. And the cuboids are the three towers in our very own local attraction, Marina Bay Sands. 
let me show you how to create the miniature buildings with the printables right now. What you are going to do is to print out these printables and cut out the building templates. Then fold along the solid lines. Apply glue or double-sided tape on the flaps and connect the edges together. Lastly, assemble and paste your 3D shapes and their descriptions on cardstock paper. And there you have it, these miniature buildings. Here's an additional challenge for your big kids. For the Leaning Tower of Pisa, think of a way to make the cylinder tilt at an angle. Primary school children between 7 to 12 years old will love this famous building's printable activity because at this age, they have such deep interest about their world. They love activities that help them discover fascinating facts and knowledge and connect what they learn in school to the real world. This printable activity connects the knowledge of 3D shapes to real buildings in the world. My children are now so fascinated with the Museum of Louvre and the Leaning Tower of Pisa that they want to visit these famous buildings in the future. After our home learning time, my children are free to do what they like till dinner time at 6pm. We call this their unstructured free time. After dinner, it's more unstructured free time until their bedtime at 8pm. Now during this time, my children like to read their books, play with each other or our pets, or just rest and do nothing. They decide what they like to do during this time. This unstructured free time again is so important as children get time to unwind and relax in their busy day. This helps to calm their minds down and they can sleep better at night. Children also get to use their creativity and imagination to decide what to do with their free time. Then at 8pm, my children gather around me for our daily story time. Each child chooses a book and we read three books together. At 8.30pm, my children brush their teeth and change into their pyjamas. Between 8.30 to 9pm, Zachary and Riley go to bed. That's the end of my children's long day. All in all, when it comes to my children's schedule, what I want to achieve is really a balance. A balance between structured programs like school and unstructured activities like their free play time. And I also want them to have time to sit down to do focus work and learning and also time for them to play and move freely. And also time for them to be indoors and time for them to be outdoors. Now think about your children's day and how they spend their time. Is there a good balance? Do they have time to be outside, to move freely, and to relax and unwind? That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed taking a glimpse into our day at home. And don't forget, you can grab these famous buildings printables over at HP Printable website. The link is in the description below. Lastly, if you found my video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more educational videos for parents. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!